Yo everybody, welcome back to another CMAC tutorial. Last time we talked about recording an interview in Zoom. You may prefer to use Skype. Skype has a long history of video chatting and recently added the ability to record a call to its feature list. All you have to do to get started is go to skype.com and download the app and create an account. And I'm going to be calling Terry, CMAC's chief engineer, to test this call recording. To add a friend to Skype, you simply need to type in their name or their email in the search bar in the top left. Terry and I are already friends. I simply need to click on his name. If you like the way that Zoom creates a meeting link that you can send to your guests, you can do the same thing for Skype by going to skype.com slash en slash free dash conference dash call. That will create a link that you can send to your guests and doing so will not require your guests to have a Skype account and will walk them through installing the Skype app on their mobile device or computer. To start a call with Terry, all I have to do is click on the little camera in the top right hand corner. Just like with Zoom, it's important to wear headphones while on your call so your audio doesn't bleed over. I recommend using the earbuds that come with most phones. The earbuds put the sound right in your ears and the microphone is close to your mouth to get a nice clear recording and minimize any environmental noise. Because I'm here set up recording a video, I have already routed my microphone to go into the computer for the call. Hey Terry, so the state of California requires that I ask for permission to record before recording. So Terry, do I have permission to record this conversation today? To start a recording, I need to click on the three dots in the bottom corner and then click start recording. I can tell that it's recording by a little red dot and the stop recording button in the top left hand corner. All right, Terry. Thanks for being a guest on the lowdown from home. Uh, we're all working from home right now. What's your favorite part of working from home? Uh, let's see, being able to come outside and work outside, but of course I got neighbor's dogs barking at me. Well, I do that. So <laughs> that can be a little irritating, but when the weather's great, hey, there's nothing better than being outside and being able to get your work done at the same time. Great, Terry. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. And uh, I look forward to more video chats with you. Absolutely, Kyle. Take care. All right. Great. You too, Terry. Talk to you later. All righty. Bye-bye. When done, simply hang up the call. And the recorded call will show up in the chat list where you can chat back and forth by text. And you can save that video to your computer. I'm going to click on the three dots next to the video icon and then click Save to Downloads. This will save the video to the downloads folder in my computer. All of this works in the Skype mobile app and you can export your recorded videos to the Photos app. From there, I have a video file that I can edit. I can cut things down, I can add graphics, and I can package it into a nice little interview piece. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to the CMAC YouTube channel and follow us on social media so you can catch up with all of these great tutorials. That's it for me. I'm Kyle. I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>